Sniper up mid. If we don't hurry up, we're going to lose this one. They're really tired of carrying this team. These are terrible. Son, your desk is a mess. Clean it up now. Duh, guys, I, I gotta go. I gotta get this, uh... What's up, gamers, makers, and wonderful people? It's been a little while. We did take most of December off. Unfortunately, both myself and cameraman Bo were sick several times, and the holiday season was a bit busy following up with all of the toy drive printing we were doing for Loyal Moses, spending time with family, and then just the general chaos that is the holiday season. But we are back, and this week, we're gonna be looking at some really useful 3D prints to help organize your messy desk. Whether you're a gamer, maker, work from homer, or anywhere in between, we've got some really awesome prints for that to help you get some organization in your life. So we're over here at Camera Mambo's house, and a couple of weeks ago, me and our friend Nathan convinced him it was finally time to build a computer. And as a result, his workspace has gotten a little bit messy. His desk is actually really cool. I know you guys have seen it in a few videos in the past, but it's got a fun story. The reason that we're working so hard to organize his desk without making any permanent modifications is his grandfather actually built this desk out of hardwood and it's been handed down to him. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill IKEA Alex drawers or whatever. This is actually handmade heirloom quality furniture. 3D printing is the perfect way to create some organization and have a permanent place for everything to live happily on your desk. But the items that we are going to be working with are things that he wants within quick reach. As per usual, all the models that we are going to 3D print, you'll find links to in the description below with credit to the original designer. We feel it's really important to make sure that we're giving credit where credit is due, and this is no exception. So up first, and this is one of the easiest things to just get scattered absolutely everywhere, is a pen cup. Bo's actually printed a few of these beautiful basket weave pen cups off in the past, and they do a great job. That's gonna be the first thing that we implement. A pen cup is both beautiful and functional. Unfortunately, I don't remember what green filament that is. That was printed several months ago, but still finds a lot of value in day-to-day -day life. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at a model to get that headset off of the desk. In my home setup, I'm just using a regular pair of over-the-ear headphones and they rest on a mic boom. Bo opted to go with the headset route and for him that is more convenient not being tethered but that also leaves him with no place for his headset to live and it be happy. So I found this really awesome model for a headset holder with a little drawer inside of it where you can store all sorts of neat things like Tootsie Rolls. This model is actually super functional it's versatile. Because of the flat back, it means that you can actually just mount it to the wall with double-sided tape or like those 3M command strips. So you don't have to put holes in the wall, which makes it really renter friendly. Or there are two holes in the back so you can run some drywall anchors into the wall and just screw it into place. And this one was printed in two different new makers filaments. If you want to check them out, there is a link in the description below and make sure you use code RTMS at checkout to save 5%. As a content creator, photographer, and 3D printer, I have accumulated a lot of SD cards, micro SD cards, and adapters, and there's never a great place to store them. Yeah, there are plenty of commercial things that you can buy, like Small Rig does make some containers for SD and micro SD cards, but I usually lose them before I have the chance to really accumulate them. And our next model, this really awesome 3D printable rugged box is designed to solve that problem exactly. Now, they claim that the box with a printed TPU seal is actually waterproof or water resistant, and this one does require some extra hardware. You're going to need some 35 millimeter M3 screws, which I like to try to keep metric hardware on hand, so for me, not an issue. But linked below, I'll have a metric screw assortment, which I highly recommend if you are into 3D printing projects, you pick one of those up, because so many different projects call for M3 screws. It's absolutely insane. Now, I was having a hard time when I printed mine finding my 35 millimeter M3s. Organization video about that coming in the future. I opted to use some heat set inserts for my hinge, so I actually used two more screws in lieu of one for that. 
Flax is really cool though. This clasp is really firm. The hinge is pretty smooth and a splash of color from the hinge works really well with the black. If you don't have some foam on hand, try to find some to recycle. The reason that I say that is in the top, the lid, there's actually a place for you to put some sort of foam and that's to keep your micro SD cards from rattling around in there. If you don't have the foam inside, you put a micro SD card in, close it up, that's the sound of my micro SD card rattling all over the place. It was just buried. I'm gonna put that back in and put my two pieces of foam that I cut down. I just repurposed some foam from one of my 3D printer shipping boxes, which I try to keep some of that on hand for projects like this, clasp it, and now, Nothing is going anywhere. There's space inside of this little box to hold micro SD cards, full size SD cards, a USB stick of some sort, whether it's an adapter or just a general flash drive. I opted to print this one out of ABS because it's probably going to live in a backpack or bag, but this little box is adorable. It's gonna look great on your desk. The next print on our list is one that I didn't originally set out for when I was looking for different things to organize a desk with. It's one that I actually just kind of stumbled upon and it is a monitor shelf. This really interesting thing actually hooks over the back of your monitor and then using friction leverage, it actually, as you load it, is going to press this little point into the back of your monitor, allowing for a nice, strong, stable connection. And the designer left us a few options in terms of printing. You can print the arm section separately from the shelf section. I did the print in place version, works perfectly fine. The issue that I'm going to point out to all of you is do not just adjust this over and over if you have the arm slotted all the way in. There doesn't seem to be enough material in there and it will wear rather quickly. What we ended up doing was determining what, kind of what the optimal angle was for this. So that way we could glue it into place. The glue wouldn't have been necessary if I hadn't just been moving this back and forth a bunch of times. Don't do that. You shouldn't need to glue this if you don't play with it. Unfortunately, anything that is in my hand is a fidget toy and I played with it. To install this one, like I said, really easy. It just hooks on. What I found to be really appealing about a shelf like this that sits on the back of your monitor is that's otherwise wasted space. This shelf creates what's essentially free real estate. And you can utilize that space for pretty much whatever you want. You can put something decorative to express yourself and kind of show some personality. Or if you're not allowed to do that in your workspace, you can put something functional up there and get it out of the way, freeing up more desk space and allowing you to have some utility in an otherwise wasted part of your room. Whoa, 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 you weren't supposed to see that one just yet. We are getting there. That's the last item on our list and I think it might be my favorite. But first I wanna talk about something really cool. Thanks to your support of our channel, we have reached the threshold and been accepted into the YouTube partnership program. This is the first stage. We haven't reached a thousand subscribers yet. Remember, we're giving away a 3D printer when we do, but we're now able to receive super chats and have channel memberships. So I'm really excited to announce that upon the launch of this video, if you want to support the channel monetarily, you're going to be able to. We've had a few members of the community reach out and ask for ways that they can show us support or contribute to what we're doing and help us grow faster. And I feel like it's time to roll something out to be able to do that. I'm really excited with the way the channel grew last year. And this year, I really wanna double down efforts and try to get back to a consistent posting schedule. And this is kind of going to be the first step. Opening up for you guys to be able to contribute to the channel is a huge, huge step for us. I'm never going to ask you for anything fiscally. If you're not able to support the channel fiscally, give us a like, leave a comment, share a video with a friend, or consider hitting that subscribe button. Those things all mean so much to creators, especially smaller channels like this one. And if you are in a position where you're fortunate enough to be able to help support what we're doing here, I am eternally grateful. And we'll roll out some really cool perks and things like channel member only streams and other fun stuff as we go along. I'm still learning about how all of that stuff's going to work and 
figuring out what exactly it's going to look like. But you guys are here early and you're helping us get off the ground and it means the world. So if you wanna support the channel in some way, go right ahead. The channel memberships are open. I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to ask anybody to. It just means a lot to us and it'll help us grow and hit our goals even faster. Last little update is I had to stop at the post office today to mail some filament to Simply Huffy or James Huffman who actually won our filament giveaway from our last live stream we did. Long time ago. Way back in November. We shipped it though. And that couple spools of new makers filament is on the way to him right now. And I'm super happy he's gonna receive that because I have been loving printing with new makers and I really hope he enjoys it. What does that have to do with this video? Well, I'm also in the process of getting a PO box because some viewers have expressed interest in sending fan mail and things like that to help show their love for the channel. And I think it's really exciting. So once we have the PO box up and running, I'm going to go through and update the description for all of our previous videos with the mailing address, throw up a community post and put it in our Discord which by the way, link in the description, join our Discord, come hang out, it's a little bit quiet. We could use some fun. Rounding out the list of things to organize your desk. This one is going to apply more to the gamers. This is that tease from our B-roll a little bit earlier. Controller holders. Now, I get it, I'm a PC gamer, my friends are PC gamers. Some games are better played with a controller, period. If you don't agree, tell me why in the comments. I've printed off two models for this. This one right here is actually designed for an Xbox controller and there's a spot in the back for you to put batteries because people who use Xbox controllers have to have batteries. Grow up, plug your controller in. But seriously, the designer actually thought a long way ahead with this. Being able to insert batteries into the back of this, super clever. It kind of kills two birds with one stone. It lets you get some extra weight into the print to help hold it in place on your desk and then gives you some easily accessible batteries if the batteries in your controller die while you're trying to play Fallen Order. I personally use a PlayStation controller. I think it's just a little bit more of a comfortable controller while the Xbox controllers do have more comfortable joysticks. I won't argue that. So I went ahead and printed one of each so that way we could show both versions off. Now I realize that doesn't really help you work from homers very much but the gamers out there I'm sure you guys are going to appreciate this one. But your kids are going to love it. The reason that I opted for the two controller stands that I did is I really like the way they're modeled to just organically hold the controller. It just fits so nicely on the stand. Just perfect. Now it's not going to keep it if you knock it over from falling off, but it sits in and it looks really nice in my opinion. You have an awesome opportunity to using Bamboo Studio or Prusa Slicer. You can actually add some text and personalize this one a little bit for the PlayStation and it just looks so good. You can 3D print until the cows come home, but unfortunately no amount of just organization is going to keep your desk clean. What you saw in the beginning shot where we showed you what cameraman Bo's desk looks like was a slight dramatization, but a messy desk is something that a lot of us deal with. And I am guilty of that 100% myself. I just throw things. And I find that a lot of people that I know do the same thing. Prints like this go a long way for helping you to utilize your 3D printer as a tool while expressing your personality. You get to have fun with these things, organize your workspace, and make sure that your tools, like your PlayStation controller, have somewhere to go, and they can go back into the same spot consistently. That makes sure you know it is where you left it, in the condition that you left it in, and not clogging up some other area of your work or play space. And that's why I like doing these organization videos. If you can't tell based off of past videos and past projects on this channel, organization has been a running theme. We've done workshops, bathrooms. You remember that one? I spent a whole video in a bathtub. I took a shower on camera. We've done kitchens. Now we're doing gaming setups slash work from home setups. There's a lot of overlap there with the exception of maybe the controller. I want to encourage you all to utilize your printers to their fullest potential. It's a tool, it's a resource, and you can use it to improve so many other aspects of your day-to-day -day life. And I wanna help empower you to do that. If you have some other makes, some other things that you recommend for organizing your work from home space, your gaming desk, your creator space at home, drop them below. I wanna know what you guys are printing to help organize your workspace. Let's get these controllers put where they're gonna live, get this desk cleaned up, 
and give you guys the grand reveal of what Bo's desk looks like all cleaned up. Let's make his granddaddy proud. Hey, Rev, what are those tools up That's, there? Stop, stop. I'm not a shill. There you go guys, there are five 3D prints that I find super useful for helping to organize your desk, your workspace, your gaming area. Let me know in the comments what you enjoyed the most and what your favorite organizational prints are for your desk setup. All right guys, the desk is clean. Let's do this. Girl, you're my angle, you're my darling angle.